So I've been using Nextlev for a few weeks now, but I'm just going to basically run through all of the different features. It is pretty unique and how you get it is you simply want to go to Nextlev extension. Just type this into your Chrome browser because you have to get it on Chrome and you just want to go to the Chrome web store. Just click on this and it'll say add to extension right here. Just add to Chrome. You can see it says remove for me since I already have this extension, but basically you just want to search for it and add it right here. And once you actually have it, you can actually go to your YouTube feed. And as you can see, we've already got signs that Nextlev is actually taking over our feed. You can actually see it'll show you the subscriber count for each channel right here. This is this is not anything new when it comes to showing the subscriber count. But what it does is there is a cool feature right here is if you go to filters in the top left hand corner of the screen, we can actually click on filters and you can actually filter it by outliers on your feed just through subscriber count view count and upload date if you do want to select an upload date if you do want it to be an old or new video depending on the time of year you want it to come out and as you can see we can basically filter it by shorts long form or all and let's just say i want to find an outlier with over how about 50,000 subscribers with a video with over almost a million views and then you just click on the go option here and it'll show you all of the channels that actually have these few subscribers as well as how many views the video has. Now an issue with this is you actually do have to close this and load a bunch of videos on your feed since it cannot load all of these videos just on its own. So again we click on filters and if we filter this once again. You can see if we click on go, now there will be a lot more results. Now there will actually be a lot more results. Now you can see there's a bunch of outliers right here. This guy's got 5,000 subscribers, a million views, 4,000, 1 million views. And as you can see, you can just filter any of these settings right here, just however you want to find outliers on the feed. And it also does show this for shorts. If you click on this right here, you can see you might want to filter this by a large range of subscribers and view counts and click on go. You can see it is a little bit buggy, which could be an issue, but this is simply a feature to help you find outliers. Now you can also do this for search if we just type in any channel like so. And go to filters again you have to load your feed manually but if we click on filters you can actually filter by subscriber count depending on how many you want them to have and the view count and you can click on go and find outliers just on this right here so this can help you find outliers but I honestly just recommend using like the vid IQ or the view stats stat of like seeing this is 0.2 times more views than normal or so on you can see it doesn't have you can see it occasionally has its own feature of 6.2 times or etc or 150 times etc which is not anything new because vidIQ and like few stats has that like I said but that is a cool feature you can use on sh as you can see though another feature is if we click on any of these videos like so you can see if we scroll down here there's actually not a graph of the views on the video like view stats in vidIQ but there is this option called similar but there is this option called similar videos right here you can basically click on this and it will actually find similar content relating to the title of this video right here. As you can see, there's over 50 pages of videos right here, and they're basically all showing videos that are similar. It doesn't mean if they're an outlier or not, it's just showing all of the videos that might be similar to this one. And you can also see similar formats to this, not necessarily the exact same topic like so. And that's that's another feature this thing has, but which could be helpful if you are looking for outliers or inspiration of other similar videos that may have been done similar to this one. And as you can see, if we scroll up though, there's an option to see if the channel is monetized or not. You can see this one is, there's a green dollar sign. There would be a red dollar sign if it was not monetized right here. And from my experience, this is extremely accurate, showing if it is a monetized or demonetized channel or not. Now, when it comes to the actual settings on the video, you can actually see there's an option to download and copy the thumbnail right here. If you just click on this singular button, it will actually download the thumbnail to your actual computer, or you can actually copy the script right here like so. If we click on this, you can actually see we can easily copy the entire script in seconds for the entire video, it doesn't matter how long it is, or you can just copy lines or just cl simply click on the generate topic similar to this script or summarize this video script in general. If you don't want to watch it, you can just click on this and just read this description right here, which can be a pretty handy feature if you don't want to watch through an entire video on YouTube. And as you can see, if we scroll back up, we've also got the screenshot frame. If you want this frame, you can simply click on download 
and it'll actually save this frame to your computer like so easy as that or you can even copy it and just paste this on a dock or depending on where you want to paste it and as you can see if we scroll down next to the like button there's even an option called save to swipe file which basically will save a part of the video if you want to repost it or just add to note it so you can actually come back and watch it later or even clip it just to post it on shorts etc and as you can see if we scroll down now there's this feature called analyze comments. Now what this does is it will take all the comments throughout this entire video. It doesn't matter how many, there's 2000 on this video. But when you click on this, it'll simply analyze every single comment and just distribute you the feedback for this entire video, whether it be good, negative, bad, or depending on what other videos you wanna see. As you can see, 80% of the people had positive comments. They liked this video. And it will give you an actual description on why viewers like this video. It said just because the ships were sunk. And also a reason why viewers dislike this video, you can see right here, which is pretty accurate. You can even go down and click on this back to comments option if you do wanna read the comments. And it will actually show you a bunch of these video ideas that people are curious about seeing in the comment section below. So you could take inspiration for these and make them yourself. And you can actually see it'll show you view competition if you click on this. And it will show you a bunch of results to these comments that they actually wanted to see for themselves. And as you can see, and that does it for the comment analyzation feature. Now, when it comes to the actual studio settings for your channel, if we actually go into our own personal YouTube studio like so, and then go over to analytics right here, you can actually see we have a few different options. Now, first off, if we scroll down, we can click on net profit calculator, which what this does is it basically, you wanna enter in how much you spend on each video average. Let's just say I spend $2 and you can simply click on calculate profit. And for the last month, it'll show you how much money you made or how much money you lost. Each video might've costed a hundred bucks, let's just say, or zero. So this will be your profit. It just does the math for you in seconds, basically. And it will show you the negatives if you did actually lose money this month. There is also an option if you have an eight minute video, you can go to monetization and review ad placements and you can add as many ad placements as you want. Click on add and it will actually spawn in all of them depending on random timestamps not very calculated so you can simply click on continue and it will simply add all of these ads to your video and you can click on save as well another cool feature similar to ads is like you can actually compress thumbnails so how you do this is you can see i'm on my video right here and let's just say i'm trying to change my thumbnail but the file is too big if i click on change and try to add this thumbnail it'll actually give you an option to auto compress your thumbnail because it's bigger than two millibytes which is youtube's limit or you can add this thumbnail on your phone but if you click on auto compress and actually upload your thumbnail here we can just find your thumbnail on your computer you can simply click on it and it will actually compress your thumbnail and we click on use thumbnail it can actually use the thumbnail for way less millibytes than the youtube's limit is and you can actually download this way lower millibyte and it doesn't really lose any quality at all it just smallens the thumbnail size so yeah that's another cool handing feature i personally really like now there's also another feature called combined analytics right here in combined analytics, if we click on this in the top right corner of the screen, we can click on it and we can actually view multiple of our YouTube channels, revenue, subscribers, watch time, and views together when you click on go to analytics and click on continue. And as you can see, you can basically log in to your, all of your channels through Google, whatever email you have, and it will combine show you that your views, revenue, subscribers, and every single thing that you need to know about your channel all together. And as you can see, you can add as many accounts as you actually want and filter this by the range you want. Honestly, this is not a bad feature. There's not anything that's extremely special about Nextlife that I found to be extremely beneficial, like way, way, way better than view stats in vidIQ. Honestly, they're both different. And if you do want to turn off any of these features, you can click on this puzzle piece in the top right and click on this little pin option next to next lev and it can actually be pinned so you can easily access it when you click on this and it'll show you your pricing your free trial and you can actually easily turn off or disable any of these features just through this option right here because again there are a ton of extensions when it comes to on your youtube feed so you can easily just turn off any of these just toggle on the ones that you actually want to use and the ones that you might not ever use or are just getting in the way of watching and cluttering up your home feed so that's just a nice hander feature right here now when we scroll up from comment analyzation you can actually go to this channel right here and you can actually see an option called Called similar channels right here now what this does it'll show you all of the channels that are very similar to this depending on shorts or long-form video 
and you can click on search like so. It'll take a second to actually load, but it will actually show you a bunch of very, very similar channels. Doesn't matter how many subscribers they have. Similar to this channel, you can see right here, these are a few, and it'll give you a score on how similar it is to these channels right here. Now, as you can see, it did take a second to load even more, but you can see there's 90 plus channels that are similar. If you want to seek inspiration or visit any of these channels just to see what they're up to, similar to this one. And you can do the same for search. If you just click on shorts, you can click on search. And we'll show you other channels similar to this channel with when it comes to only this channel search or no matter what channel you are actually looking at. Now, we've also got a feature called analytics. You can see right here, we can actually go to analytics. And what you can do is you can view the demographic, the revenue, the views, and basically how many views versus shorts they were actually getting each month. You can actually see if we click on reveal, it will take a generative guess on what the channel is making in the last 28 days, which from my experience, this is not very accurate. Now, I would say it's around two to four times off, plus or negative, depending on the channel. But you can see in the last month, it's made $16,000, it thanks. I honestly think it might be either double or half of this, it really depends on the channel and their RPM. It'll show you the channel's RPM over here as well, speaking of that, which I think is pretty dang inaccurate because a lot of these videos are longer. So it really does fluctuate, but it is slightly more accurate than like view stats or especially Social Blade, for example, just because it does take account for the video lengths and the actual niche, you can see the niche down here is design apparently. And it will give you the average video length for this actual channel and how many times they upload a month. So yeah, it's pretty dang accurate. and the top demographics it'll show you top five united states united kingdom etc as well as the age and gender of the people actually watching this channel and the percentage of that which i honestly don't know how accurate it is it's probably not super accurate but if this is 36 percent from the us we can already assume their rpm is way off just because they're targeting a lot richer audience even if they are kids i still think this is pretty inaccurate but that is just a pretty cool feature you can actually view the analytics for certain channels just using this feature just going to analytics like that but is nextlev really better than all of these other extensions now like i've been saying i've used vidiq view stats as well and honestly i don't think it's better i don't think it has anything that will level up your youtube game to a unfair advantage level i think view stats it doesn't cost you any money view stats doesn't and it has like everything plus more now next live i do recommend giving it a shot if you do find any of these features helpful but honestly i don't really think I'm going to be using it for that much longer. And yeah, that's just my overall overview of Nextlev. Again, I recommend giving it a try. It does have all these cool handy features, but I don't think it's, and they do say they're adding more very soon, but at the moment, I think it's not going to like, going to give you an extremely unfair advantage of YouTube with extensions. I really like view stats because you've got the view graph. You can see outlier just trending videos in general and things like that. But yeah, I just recommend giving it a shot. And yeah, let me know in the comments which one is your favorite extension down below. And when it comes to pricing, there is an option that does not cost money. So this is not cost any money. If you are on the trial option, all you want to do is you can simply use the trial for as long as you want, but there is an option to actually pay, which will give you a lot more of these features. The, the free option does come with monetization and all of these things right here. And this is premium. There's very limited options for the free option right here, but every single month it does cost you $13 about. And if you do want to try it for a year, I think there's a yearly subscription. It's about like $120 if I recall. So it can be pretty affordable, but honestly, view stats is free. And I honestly think that's way better from my experience. So I probably won't be using this much longer, but I just wanted to give you an overview, but I still recommend giving it a try if you are looking for this type of extension, just using the free trial at least to see if any of these extensions are truly life-changing for you.